Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of Mr. Coffee's brand new coffee maker. So they just came out with this in May of 2021. It's called their Mr. Coffee Pod Plus 10 Cup Space Saving Combo Brewer. It's $97 off of Amazon. It's their number one new release in single serve brewers. I'll be doing several videos. This video is just going to be the unboxing and setup. And then I'll do a review on brewing coffee with K-Cups and with the coffee maker. So it didn't come in a very good box. Um, when you get it from Amazon, sometimes they don't come in the, the pretty boxes like you get at the store. So. so let's dump it over on its side. Pour it out. coffee pot so be careful that could fall out okay so I've got the plastic off I'm not even sure this thing is I don't know much about this so uh, it's got this tape we're gonna remove this tape coffee pot it's got a reservoir back here with a bunch of stuff in it and it's got a cord there's what the bottom of it looks like There's always that Mr. Coffee really long number. BVMC-SS12XTH-AM. It's 1200 watts, 120 volts AC, 60 hertz. Made by Sunbeam. Okay, so I've got the tape off. So let me just start off. This, this is unlike any coffee maker I've seen. So I'm going to have to follow the directions pretty good. Um, it does have this little plastic on there. We're going to take that off. But this, I was thinking that this handle slides out, which it does, but it's this whole thing. I thought just this, normally you think just this black thing, but it's this whole thing. Okay, now this looks all new. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, that's a brew basket, but I don't know what this is. So we'll have to look into that. It's got this little... I think that's for the pause brewing. It does have a water reservoir with some markings. It's got just a lid that comes off. It does have a nice handle. It's a little tricky, but you can pull the water reservoir up. So that's very nice. It does sit flat. It's got a nice handle for carrying. I like that. It was just a little hard. I had to use two hands to get it off. Cord. It's a two-prong cord. The cord's not very long. This is what came inside the... So that looks like a water filter. I've never seen Mr. Coffee with a water filter like that. That looks like a standard uh, water filter. It's got this big instructions. So yeah, this thing is different. Really different. And it's got this little... You know, what a, a lot of parts. It's like a little drip tray. There's no warming plate. So that this is what... You get a, a stainless steel carafe for. And then to open up this, just push that over. Pops up. This is what your coffee's gonna brew into. Very nice, Mr. Coffee. You know, it looks nice. Just put that on. Got a button. Yeah, this looks really nice. Now, this is pretty well all plastic. Um, I don't. I really don't see any metal at all. Other than the coffee pot. This looks all plastic. Again here, this looks like there's a little thing. There's what the brew head looks like, looks like. Okay. And this just slides. Again, the coffee pot's going to sit there. Let's do dimensions really quick. So front to back, you're looking at about 12, almost 13 inches. Side to side, about 6 inches. So I get this question a lot. Will it fit under a standard kitchen cabinet? Yes. So it's only about 14 and a half inches tall. 
um, but you do have to be able to lift the reservoir up a little bit so you got to lift it up about like there and then you can take it out and fill it up so it does fit under a kitchen cabinet uh, you don't lift anything up here you know this just pulls out so everything's from front access okay there's no cord storage and the cord is it seems short but it is uh, two feet long so 24 inches long for the cord so right now i don't know much about this coffee maker this is just an unboxing and kind of what you get in the box um my i'm gonna play around with it and fix some coffee and so my next review will be a detailed review and I'll, I'll show you exactly how to use it. Okay, so it says to wash the pot, the pot lid, brew basket, pot holder, water reservoir, and mild detergent. So basically we're gonna, so here's the brew basket. So this gets washed. That's that the pause brewing looks like. Looks like it takes, um, basket style coffee filters so this is what looks a little unusual press firmly it says so how do you okay so that's got a lid there's a k-cup needle so be really careful here's like a k-cup basket so this is how they're doing that's a reusable k-cup oh interesting very interesting and so you put your k-cups there so you're going to be able to do just a standard K-cup. Looks like you put it there, and then when you press firmly, shot up some coffee grounds, it punctures the top and the bottom. Okay. And then here's a reusable uh, K-cup never seen one quite like this this is pretty close to how reusable k-cups look yeah that seems very nice so if you want to use your own coffee grounds in a single serve k-cup then you just press that down so that definitely a big snap and this has sort of like a handle and then there's the bottom of it yeah this is different looking. again it looks like it only goes one way Sure, what that's for, but looks like your brew head is going to go up against here, and have, it's going to have to somehow force water in that needle to go through the cake up. So yeah, this is going to be interesting to see what's going on. Let's get to the stainless steel craft. It's got a nice, nice little Mr. Coffee design. It looks really nice. I do like the design of that. Again, it's got a button, so you're supposed to press the button when you want to pour some water out. Turn it to the quarter, just about a quarter turn, and this pops open. You know, here's what this looks like. It's got a nice O-ring. Can't really see. So when you press the button, there's something going on inside there to let the coffee out there. There you go. There we go. So when we press the button, it lifts that plunger. Oh, and that plunger is what keeps the coffee in there nice and hot. I've checked these stainless steel carafts. They, they will keep your coffee warm for a couple hours. And this looks like a double wall insulated. It's only 10 cups. That's pretty standard whenever they put a um, stainless steel carafe in. Again, that looks very nice. Very well done. Sits in there. Okay, so I've got everything washed up. I plugged it in. Display. Now, the display is nice and steady. It's not... Uh, flashing in real life. It looks really nice. Um, the angle, I can see it from it here or straight down because it kind of points straight up. But I can see it when I'm looking right here. I can see it pretty well. Very nice display. Very modern. I've got the water filled up. It's got this max line. So these directions don't talk much about the water filter cartridge. But if you look at the other directions that come with it, it says let it soak for five minutes. So we're going to put it in a cup of water, let it soak for five minutes, and then you're going to rinse it for one minute. What it is, these are carbon filters. So you'll get your water is going to turn like a, a gray. You'll get some carbon dust coming out of this filter. Okay, so I rinsed, I let it soak for five minutes and rinsed it for a minute. 
And we got this holder here. Okay, and it pops off and it fits in there like that. So there's a flat side, but the flat side goes down. You just snap. And then it's got this little dial. Replace every month. Oh wow. So you're supposed to put what when? So right now it's May. So in June I need to replace it. I normally go about two months. So let's go over here. I had to dump the water back out, but let's. It should just snap in there. Yeah. So make sure it snaps in there when I pull on it. It's in there pretty good. Okay, so it's got a nice place for it to sit. And it should snap in there. And it's nice and flush. The water has to go through the filter before it can get into the into the machine and it can go either way I tried it either way so then we'll just put you can install it with the water reservoir installed like that okay so there's what it looks like with your water filter installed make sure you've got your like little drip tray this is a little cup I think that's all that comes out yeah none of the rest of it does so make sure you got that installed Okay, so we're gonna run water through it with, this is called the setup procedure. So we're gonna put the, this is like the K-cup basket. And it says, make sure there's no K-cup in here. So we're gonna take this K-cup out. This is all empty. We're gonna close this. We're gonna put it in, we're gonna put it in the brew basket. It'll only go one way because of this little um, thing that sticks out here. And the handle will only go, it only goes down one way. So then we're gonna slide it in. Again, there's what that brew head looks like. It's rubbery. That's where the hot water is gonna come out, I think. I've got this turned a little bit, so now we're gonna slide this in. Let's see. It's pretty easy to figure out. And it should kind of snap. So yeah, make sure it make sure it snaps and it's nice and flush around here. So now that we've got this installed, it says select the size, do a 12 ounce. So it's got this size button. I can do a 12 ounce. I can do a strong if I want, but I'm gonna do it. So it's six, eight, ten, and twelve. Make sure we got our cup underneath here. And hit the brew now. So it's not, this is a cleansing brew. It says add water. Well, I've got water in it. I don't know why it said that. Let me try it again. So I've got it on the 12 ounce brew now. Oh, it's saying add water. Maybe my unit's bad. Let me take the, the water filter off. It might be causing problems. Now I can hear it sucking the water down. For some reason, it didn't like the water filter installed. Okay, there's the cleansing brew with no cake up in. I selected 12 ounce. I hit the brew now. The brew now light is on. In my next video, I'm gonna check temperatures. I'll show you exactly how to brew, how it tastes. I'll do a full pot of coffee. I'll see if I can get that water filter working too. So it's not very loud, that's a good thing. I had to switch out the mug. I just remembered that's not a 12 ounce mug. So I had to put another mug underneath there or, or it would have overflowed. Okay, so it did, it did like three little short beeps to let you know it was done. So let's take this off again. How's it look? So be careful, this can be hot. Yeah, this is hot, so be careful. 
Oh, this is really hot. Okay. It does say that this brew basket is dishwasher safe. And this, I want to see if... So you can take this, this apart, looks like maybe... It's a little tricky, but you can take this apart to put this in the dishwasher. That's about all that comes apart there. There is a sharp needle down in there, so be careful. So the brew basket, that's a very heavy-duty brew basket. That's probably the most heavy-duty I've ever seen. feels very sturdy. And that's that pause brewing, so when the coffee pot's underneath there, you get water coming out there. Okay, so one thing I noticed, so... When you put this basket in, when you put the K-cup basket in, it presses down on this lever, which causes that plunger to open up. Yeah, see, I can, when I press down on that, that's the same as if a coffee pot was installed. That's why water, when you're doing a K-cup, that's how come water can come out of here. Because normally you would have to have, you'd have to have the coffee pot would have to press this to press that in so that's how they do that so you set the hour and the minutes it's got an a.m. let's see if it's got a p.m. it's got a little p.m. light we can brew later so that's nice and we can do strong and we can do cups okay so let's take this uh, k-cup basket out if we were going to do normal coffee we would just put this in we would put our filter and our coffee right there. Okay, so now it says cups. So when I've got the brew basket installed, when I've got this installed, the K-cup basket, when I've got this installed, let me install it. So see, right now it says cups, but when I when I push this in. It changes to ounces so I bet there's a little micro switch that's probably what that is for so when that's installed there's probably a little micro switch or something up here that lets it know that um, you've got the K cup in and it needs to change to ounces so when I take this out and put this in then it's displaying cups. So that's how it knows when you want to do cups, that's when you're wanting to do this, a coffee pot. So you'll have to put this off to the side. Okay, so now my reservoir's only got six uh, cups in, in there. So I've got the coffee maker, the coffee pot in there. I can change, I can do just cups now. This is kind of nice. I can, pro I can do four cups, six, eight, 10, 10 cups is the most. So let's do six and just hit the brew now. So now this now it's acting like a coffee maker. Again, I do hear a little pump in there. I can hear a pump running. There's the water coming out. So it's got that pause brewing so I can take this out. And when that lever comes out, then it stops the brew. Then I can put this back in and it picks back up again. Again, I've got the K-cup basket out and it takes a, it takes a basket style filter. So it's relatively quiet. I can hear like a pump going, but that's about it. This brew now button's on. Display looks really nice. So this doesn't get too warm up here. I don't see like steam coming around. Like a normal coffee maker, you know, there's steam coming all around it. So this gets, the brew basket gets a little hot. And again, no warming plate, so it's not gonna stay on after it's done brewing.
Okay, it's finishing up. There we get a little bit of a little bit of steam coming around. Thought maybe it might beep at us. Hmm. So it's staying on for a little bit, even though it's done. Okay, so it does beep at you. There are three quick beeps. Not super loud, but then the brew now goes off. And there we've got six cups inside here. There's what the brew basket. So we just did a cleansing brew. Or cleansing rinse. So wow, this thing is different. This was, uh, this was different for Mr. Coffee. They really looks like they really went out and did something completely different. Um, it it does look a little confusing at first. I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, apart from the water filter not working, maybe it'll work now after it's got maybe just having that initial water flow in there. It didn't work really well, but I'll try that out in the next video. I'm also gonna do the reusable K cup. I'll put some coffee grounds in there and we'll see how it does. And I'll brew a pot of coffee. So it's got a pretty nice display. It's got a brew later. Looks relatively nice. Pretty small footprint. Um, yeah, I'm kind of impressed. I was kind of, like I said, kind of hesitant to get it. But I'm glad I did. We'll see if it's worth it. So this is $100. From the first, it is a coffee maker and a K-cup machine. So that is pretty nice. So we'll see. That $100 does, maybe that's that's about the right price point for a dual purpose coffee maker and k-cup again check out my next video it's going to be a detailed video temperatures taste tests k-cups coffee maker i'll even do a descale i don't see a clean light or anything on this but i will show you how to descale it with vinegar thanks everybody for watching if you could please like and subscribe